All right, now we're gonna apply another formula, okay? It's called percent of change, all right? And there's two parts. You have what's called the absolute change, which is the difference between your ending quantity or amount minus your starting quantity or amount. Now notice, it's absolute change, and I'm gonna highlight here, all right? Absolute change will always be positive or zero and will, will result in an increase or decrease of the starting value. So what that means is if the change is positive, you just say we had a change of maybe, let's say, five points, and it was an increase or a five-point increase, okay? If the change is, let's say, you, you drop in value, so then that's a decrease, but you won't have a negative answer. So just remember this first part, absolute change, your answer has to be, it's going to always be zero or positive. So that's your first step. And then you have what's called the relative change. Now, sometimes people will call this the percent change, which is just what you find in your first step divided by your starting quantity. So now notice what you've got. You've got um, three parts here. You've got your ending quantity, and let's call this A. So we're going to throw this off. B, which would be your starting quantity, and then we could actually say uh, C is the absolute change, all right? And then relative change, you can call that D, if that helps you out. All right, the formulas, again, don't get caught trying to memorize the, the, the formulas. Make sure you understand what you're doing with the formulas. That's, that's more important than just remembering formulas. All right, so let's jump into the, an example. All right, so in this example, we have office supply company purchases paper wholesale for $18 per case. They sell the paper for $20 per case, and, and this was what any business does this for the most part. They uh, buy materials or supplies or products at a low price, and they mark up the price uh, to sell it to consumers. That's how they make money, okay? All right, so let's, let's look at this. We've got two parts. We want absolute and we want relative. All right, so let's identify our starting amount or quantity, our ending quantity. Let's do that first. All right, starting amount, office supply company purchase, purchases this paper for $18. They sell it for twenty dollars, right? So that's easy, all right. So absolute change. Now remember, this is you take your ending quantity, and we're going to use absolute value bars, which would be twenty dollars minus eighteen dollars. All right. That's a two dollar increase. Okay, and that's what you would call in business. That's their growth, gross profit. All right. Now that that was easy. That was the first thing. So then you just take your answer. You take your two dollar increase. So I made two dollars, but you want to know how much profit that was, or what's the percentage. So you're gonna take your. $2, you're going to divide by your starting quantity, which is 18. Now, be careful here in terms of, we're going to take, because we want a percent, so we're going to multiply this guy, because that's a fraction, times 100. And let's put relative change. All right, so 2 divided by 18 times 100, or 2 over 18 divided by, or times 100, which is 11.111%. Now, in your homework, they'll, they'll specify if they want the nearest tenth, it's 11.1%. If they want the nearest hundredth, it's 11.11%. If they want the nearest whole number in terms of answer, it's 11%. So make sure 
you read the instructions well in terms of how you represent that relative change. They could also ask you to represent it as a decimal. So then you wouldn't do times 100. You would just do, it would end up being 0.11. So just make sure you read the instructions. All right, second example. We have gas price. So the price of gas goes from $2.40 per gallon to $1.30 per gallon. All right, so again, you want your starting quantity, you want your ending quantity or amount. So we start at 240, and I'm gonna use per gallon, all right? We ended at 130 per gallon. All right, so then we've got what we need, and let's find the absolute change. All right, now remember the formula is the ending quantity, which is a dollar and thirty cents, minus the starting quantity, which is two dollars and forty cents. All right, now. If you use your calculators without that, without interpreting what the absolute value means, you will end up with a negative dollar and ten cents because the price is lower now. But since it's absolute value, all you do is say it's one dollar ten cents, and then we're gonna say this is a the price actually went down. So we're gonna say decrease. All right, and let's let's rewrite this. So it looks looks better. So the price went down by one dollar and ten cents. All right, so that's first part. So remember first, second. Now we're gonna find the relative change or the percent change. So you take your $1.10 decrease, you divide it by your starting amount, which was $2.40, you're gonna multiply it by 100, and we're gonna go to the nearest tenth, so one decimal place. So $1.10 divided by $2.40 times 100, is a 45.8% decrease in the cost of a gallon of gas. And that's how we apply or we find absolute change and percentage change.